Hello everyone, CPAD here with another Yomi2 video, and it looks like we've run into, uh, into, uh, a time. I have randomed into the purple arg, my friend, seven, seven Amurai, seven Samurai, but 77 Samurai, whatever their name is, they are <laughs> rocking the black arg. So, uh, yeah, hold on. How do I play Arg again? Should probably put poison on first. Put poison on. Uh, power up my throws for one bar and super one. Um, go ahead and drop a low block in for throw. Sorry, it's been a while since I played Arg, so I'm just trying to get through the, get through the motions through the motions here uh, we've applied the poison we've done everything we wanted to do here and then we will go ahead block high I guess surely I don't get mixed up I probably just face fireball or something okay never mind this is the most aggressive arc I've ever seen. Let go both my blocks, that's okay, we have bubble shields. Okay, I get shoved as well. Ow. I've never seen an arc turn one throw. I love it. What now? He applies poison. I. I feel like I've run into way too many mirror matches recently. So I've not seen this guy before. I don't know what uh don't know what he's about. So know that the, the black arg is definitely a time. I've got the poison on me. Also got shoved. Uh, we have extra dodges in our deck at least. This guy is out of dodges. Maybe maybe we can abuse that? I don't know if we can. Is there a world where we go for a high low mix up here? Like I just we could go for the high low mix up as a thing. Oh, he tried to bring us back a dodge. Okay, we can no longer go for the high low mix up. All right, fair enough. And then he probably just plays dodge. Do we? Are we forced to play phase out? It's kind of gross. But I don't want to spend a bar. When we're playing purples, so obviously we have like recursion, right? We can recur the purple back. This guy's really taking his time. But I think we just have we just have to play. We want to save the bar and okay. Okay, we catch the flying fish. Get our poison back, thank you. Let's go ahead and exchange this for a low, probably a high. We want to keep one block in, but not two. Let's go ahead and pop the poison on. Okay, I'm surprised he went for the fireball there. It's pretty greedy to just go for the fireball. I will say, D, medium attack. Sometimes people just play medium attack against me. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, he's poisoned, so we have the upper hand here. Oh, we can't even like lose this combat. We'll be totally fine. Uh, do I really want to be as aggressive as like Sparking Bolt EF? Depends on what his turn is, I guess. He probably wants to recur the poison, so I'll probably exchange low for high. Does that give me license to play heavy low attack? Probably not, but well, it doesn't do it. 
let's do it again. Okay. Okay. Changes B for high block. Okay. So now he's rocking both blocks. He gets the poison back, can't use it, but I guess it makes sense to keep it. You know his whole hand. That's out of two cards. Did he draw the throw is the only question. And even if he didn't draw the throw, like, is he really playing... Is he really gonna hit me with bubble shields? I mean, he can go phase out as, like, a kind of scuffed answer to attack spout. Is he really attacking me? I think I don't know. Well, the thing is, we'll probably draw, um... Do we have to bubble shield? We can just play a high block. I want to play Sparkling Bubble, but I just feel like he's going to do one of those. And I really don't want to guess high-low. We could throw, but like, why or arg, we can throw later. Um, the only question I'm considering is whether it's high block or bubble shields. It could be phase out. No, it's probably a bubble shield. Oh, okay, we catch the black burst. Oh, okay. That's really good for us. That's extremely good for us. We catch that. And we hit him back with the shove. Okay, wow. I did not expect him to play Black Burst so early there. I guess it kind of makes sense, but... I don't know, I was just kind of hoping he can pass turn and then just power up on my turn. Anyway, we can Future Sight here. Get both our dodges and then just power them up. Get both our Bs and just power them up. Get two meter here. Uh, in theory, can we go for high-low? No, we can't. He's a dodge. Uh, is there anything we want to exchange? Not particularly. Uh, we can just play phase out, I guess. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe we shouldn't have powered up like that. We should have kept our dodges for later. Maybe we're in a position where we don't need phase outs, though. Phase outs are a little bit superfluous. I don't even know what I'm recurring here. So. I'm just play phase out, get our get our poison on the board, and then move on to next turn, I guess. I guess phase out in this particular mirror just means fireballs are less free. So maybe phase out actually is way more important than I thought it would be. But only for this matchup. So this guy should should just block, but. Okay, he takes a risk and goes for a high block. Okay, I respect it. Uh, I'm down both my po my phase outs, but of course I can recur them with Future Sight. Or not Future Sight, with Purple Burst, so I'm not that concerned about it. He's still got the poison on him. Drops high block, it's throwback. Okay, I like the aggression here. From this guy. I'm into it. I don't think he's going to play the throw this turn, though. Okay, we both bubble shield. Interesting. It's three more damage on the board for me. We can go ahead and power up these dodges. Get two bar. Let's go ahead and exchange this for a dodge. And... Fish. Now that he's down his burst, Giant Fish just looks extremely safe here. We even catch a throw, perfect. We'll go into the shove. Okay. I mean, so far this is kind of the ideal. After turn one, everything's gone super well. But obviously, it's an arc mirror. We, uh... 
we had we had an arc mirror where we were down to just two HP, and then we came back with only like four reeds. So let's not rest on our laurels just yet. Well, I will say things are going extremely well. Drop some bubble shields. We'll power up for a singular one, most likely. Yep. Uh, can't really do anything else on this turn. Surely he doesn't just mash attack here. So we will dodge, obviously. Get three more free damage on the board. What if he opts to lower high block versus bubble shields? He did it once, but I also don't really care, I feel like, because I'm not taking the risk of getting hit by a bubble shield or dodge. Like, I'm not taking that risk. There's no reason for me to. He, however, <laughs> feels like he needs to take a risk. Okay. Wow. E. Hmm. I think he knew how to dodge, too, so it's... Hmm. I don't know about that one. Uh, anyway, we've knocked him down now. Uh, let's go ahead and exchange this for throw. Let's go ahead and power bubble shields for a single one. We don't need two of them. Uh, and I kind of just feel like bubble shielding here. I kind of just feel like bubble shielding here, honestly. Maybe we catch an attack? Just be safe here. There's always throwing me, right? So. Just be safe here, get my 3 chip on, then suddenly like throw into Sparkling Bubble, it's just like a lethal option. Like we return the throw back like we're gonna throw. I think Bubble Shield here is fine, maybe we can get a good read on this guy as well. He's a little antsy, I mean he's now attacked twice, okay, he low blocks, it's fine. Uh, three more damage on the board. Like, we know this guy plays a little antsy, right? Um, he, uh, he attacked twice during Rushing River turns. So, I mean, that's another piece of knowledge that we have going into the next game. Pops the Shadow Tentacles, okay. Um, so what combinations give him 10 damage? Like, throw into anything, Sparkling Bubble, I think is a big card to watch out for. Um, surely he doesn't... I guess the, the one question we have to ask ourselves, we still have our burst in hand. Is this the kind of player to pop the, um, to pop the Gemstorm and then block? I'm gonna say no, they're not. Yeah, no, they're not. Um, what are we getting back here? We can get back like a future site and we get back a future site and what else? Hmm. Future site in a throw, future site and future site in a phase out maybe. Future site in a phase out seems good. You're saying a giant fish even seems okay here. Giant fish just kind of. Yeah, giant fish performs really well into our grit. So we'll take back the giant fish. Go ahead and future sights. See if we can get a power better than Z's. We get D's. We'll take that. Power this up, get two bar. And we'll just play the giant fish here, just deny him of getting any value of the black jump storm. Right. Wow, Loki purple 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 Loki MVP for the Ar for the Arg mirror exclusively. <laughs> maybe maybe you want to play purple purple Arg. Uh, purple Arg kind of putting in lots of work here. You can get Edge on her turn. Wow. I think Edge on a turn into double rushing river. This guy is. Yeah. Life drain's not hitting, my friend. Wow. 
That was, that felt like such a good gem choice. That felt like is he counterpicking me with? What does he get counterpicking me with? Surely he doesn't go purple as well. He goes blue. Okay. Power to poison. That is so weird. That is so weird. He powers up poison? I mean, he, obviously he can recur then, right? It's poison. He can recur it. I don't think I meant to play this, by the way. But not putting the not putting the turn one poison down in the arc mirror seems like such a huge mistake. Like, he gets Rushing River, but, like, I'm getting my poison down? Like, he's disabling throws, but I have my poison up now, so... Like, okay. Uh, let's power up throws. Let's get super one in one bar. Let's go ahead exchange A for throw here. Be a little cheeky here. Go for a flying fish. Let's be a little cheeky here. Go for a flying fish. He can't even get a, he can't even recur a poison back on his turn because his blocks are both in his hand. Surely it's um maybe this guy's a little bit new to Arg. I don't know, I've never seen this name before. Seven seventy seven samurai. Seventy seven samurai or seven 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 I mean I'm a yeah, I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this guy's name before. <laughs> totally fine. Give me my chip. If we can withstand this turn, then we have a future side on our turn as well. And then we're like really in business, right? Although it depends on kind of what he does. Looking to power up two throws. Two bar. Exchange high block for throw. Okay, it's, that makes sense. Mm. Two bar over getting a giant fish, though, has alarm bells ringing in my head. Like, there's no reason you need to be at three bar. Like I feel like he's gonna play a uh, giant fish here. So let me go ahead and block low. Hi. Let's block high. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting, huh? Okay, I mean, unexpected throw there. Good, good for him. Very nice, uh, very nicely done, I guess. Shoving me is a mistake because I'm once again getting poison on my turn. Um, so I'm assuming this guy is just new or doesn't really know the orb mirror very much because, again, he's giving me the free turn here. So uh, let's go ahead, exchange low for high, get our poison back, play the poison. We don't really need to exchange for anything else, right? Yeah, we don't need to exchange for anything else. Let's get our high. Get our poison back. We will pop the poison on. Him. And then we're gonna dodge the we're gonna dodge the super two here. Like, I don't know why he would play Super 2 here, but I just feel like this is this is the player who would play Super 2 here after getting 2 bar. But he wants to be a little bit greedy. No, it just goes for the low block. Okay, fine. He's learned his lesson. He's learned his lesson. Give me my poison, please. 3 chip on the board. What's the point? Do you want to get rid of this purple burst? Um, get Super 1, uh, get phase out and like Super giant fish back or something I just don't know if this is the turn for it or not okay he drops a dodge what is he gonna bring back what does he even have to exchange 
Looks like a throw. Okay. Hmm. We shouldn't be resting on our lords just yet. This is an Arn Mirror. Um. This feels like a good. I don't know. I, I, I'm deciding between Bubble Shield and Purple Burst. Which Fireball? Hmm. Uh, played Fireball. It's unfortunate. Should have played Purple Burst. Let's go ahead and play. We have our poison up still, so we'll go ahead and play Future Sights. Power up is dodge, so let's go ahead and take that. We will get uh, two bar here. Storm into throw, maybe? No, Blue Burst kind of sucks uh, for the ability in this matchup, maybe? So maybe, well, it's not, I mean, it doesn't suck, but it's not at the best, obviously. Um, get a dodge back, maybe? Change A for dodge? We could, like, just play A, honestly. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting bubble shielded here, aren't I? Oh, this is too frisky. This is way too frisky. I kind of want to. Oh, I'm getting speared. All right, never mind. Oh, there goes my advantage. Z. Yep, there there goes my advantage. This game. We're just a little bit too frisky there. Now we lost the early game. And now you apply poison. Uh, am I even meant to rushing river here just to get rid of the poison? Maybe I am. Seems good. Sure, I'll take the interrupt here. I think B, interesting. Beats by Fireball, I guess. Oh, let's go ahead uh, exchange this for low. Get our poison back. Apply the poison. Bubble shield? Now we can, you don't want to bar for giant fish to bail us out. Power up. What is he even powering up? He's got full bar, full stick of butter. Powers up wise, get super two, okay. I <laughs> like couldn't draw it, so I had to power up for it, sure. Yeah. Okay. I respect that. That's I mean, seems like unfortunately like his previous like his previous play 
kind of forced him to do that, but I mean, now it's correct to do that, so it's fine. Although he did give up wise, I hate giving up wise. Should pick up th throw or something. Maybe even pick up F? Pick up. I don't even know. Should pick up something, right? Picks up B? Okay. If I get giant fish, I get giant fish, but fireball? I don't want to waste the rushing river. Fireball? Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's just go into this. Let's get more damage on the board. Nice. Let's go ahead and power up these, get one bar and bubble shields. <laughs> too frisky too frisky dang it that's okay ah oh, that sucks that sucks he, he now he now has poisoned I saw that why I really wanted to beat his super 2 but he's not swinging with it well I guess he wasn't swinging with it earlier because he just didn't have it but now he has it that's the thing Man, I feel like I <laughs> my eyes like glaze over. I uh, <laughs> I'm locked in and I'm not, and then I'm locked in and I'm not. Luckily, although he's got super twos, so now he can actually use some big damage. He's gonna power up. He should he should power up. Oh sure, apply the poison. Yep, correct. Correct. Uh, probably should power up. Chooses not to power up. Okay, interesting. I'm knocked down. Forgot I'm knocked down. Do I burst out? He doesn't exchange for throw. Well, he's very likely to have a throw. What if we just play fireball? Is he really gonna go for a mix up on Arg? Is he really gonna go for a mix up on Arg? If he plays like giant fish, I'll be shocked. It seems like a colossal waste. I'm gonna go for the flying fish here. He's really thinking though. He's really thinking. Got a full hand. Big damage potentially on the table if he hits the mix up. I got him. I mean, we we didn't get him, but like we we actually took damage. We didn't hit him, so uh, let's go ahead and we pop pop jump sword into a dodge. Pop jump sword into phase out. Hmm. Where's our second phase out? Our second phase out's in the trash. Maybe we, maybe we can dodge a giant fish. I don't know. I just feel like a giant fish should come out sometime soon. But maybe he's being super careful because I'm playing purple. Hmm. No. That's not what I'm looking for. Three more damage. Well, he discards cards. Does he discard anything useful? No. Like, discard your, discard your pro hit, please. That'd be ideal. Man, Prohib is looking really good in the Arc Mirror, huh? Because, like, he just... If he were to lose his poison on his turn, but he plays Prohib, then, like, he, I can't reapply poison, and he's totally fine for it. Ooh, ooh like, nuances in the Arc Mirror that, uh... 
you wouldn't quite see at first glance because you don't know like the gem picks and everything, right? But uh, that's a cute little thing about blue gem storm, I guess. Anyway, I'm like pretty sure he's gonna throw me here. Are we so sure that he's gonna throw me that I want a giant fish out? Oh! <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! Oh no, that's not good for us. That's pretty bad for us because he's ahead on meter. Oh no, he's ahead on meter. Oh, I feel so bad. It feels so bad. I can't win in combat to save my life. Oh, dang it. Oh, I'm not throwing enough. He's learned that I don't throw enough. I'm oh, alright, we got a severely chased seven samurai. Picking up our range. Oh wow, it's still early days, but still. Do we dare burst? This guy's says owning me. Again, like this is a this is a new face. I've never seen this guy before. I don't know if he's new or anything, but I'm kinda getting my butt kicked in the org mirror here. Powers up bubble shields for singular bubble shield. Yep, makes sense. Wonder if he ever is too. If he's ever gonna get greedy enough to apply double poison on me. Passes. Okay. Last time, what happened? Last time, I played flying fish and he played flying fish. This time, he's gonna throw and I'm gonna burst. He's gonna medium attack. He's gonna medium attack? Okay, fine. Not quite what I expected, but uh, give me my burst. What do we take here? Maybe a phase out future sight? Uh, we can't use the future sight just yet, but we're being like hopeful, right? We're gonna apply poison. We are going to gemstorm? No. Are we gonna power fireballs? Probably not. Are we just gonna play fireball? Maybe. This guy plays like A here. He's he's got the full read on me. Please high block. Okay, you're saying. Oh, we got the boys on him now, at least. It's the five chip. We'll take. We'll take our five chip there. It's just he's threatening super two, and I'm not. I'm not. Maybe I should have picked up a phase out in a future in a super two. Changes block for block. Oh no, he got got. He got got. He, was, he needed to power up first. Ooh, well, that's okay. He doesn't need the poison, so it's actually like totally acceptable that he did that. Um, oh, he did power up though? Why did he not power up? I feel like he's gonna throw me. Uh, but do I really want to commit something like a flying fish? I kind of would rather commit um, a rushing river. Yeah, there's the throw. <laughs> Uh, do I get do I get long range if I follow up? I think I do, right? I do. Okay, good. Yeah, I felt a throw coming there. Just uh, hadn't thrown in so long, and this guy this guy threw me turn one, so I know he likes to hit that button. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and future sights. Well, do we want a future sight? Do we, want to do we want to apply double poison here? We have an opportunity to apply double poison here. I guess we only want to apply double poison if we can power up for Super 2. And we can power up for Super 2, so maybe we do apply double poison. So how do we do that? Uh, let's go ability, 
future sites here. Uh, oh, we only have three cards in our discard. That's okay. We'll take an A and an F. We'll power up our throws. Maybe we take double F and power those up. Take double F. And power up double F for super two and one bar. We exchange low for high. Oh, we already future sighted this turn though, so we can't actually apply poison. That's okay. Uh, this this whole plan was stupid. It's uh, all for nuts. It's okay. Uh, we didn't even exchange for a dodge back. Great, really, really high quality stuff coming out of this corner here. <laughs> really, really high quality stuff. I'm such a, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Move on to the next strike, please. Next beat. Discards quick high. Discards only one card. Well, he's got to power up first, and then he can uh, do his thing. At least we've kind of positioned ourselves relatively well for the post reshuffle, because that's happening this turn. Like we positioned ourselves really well for that. Um. The only question is, is he gonna do that? Is he gonna hit this button? I think even if he hits that button, we like don't care so much. I think because we still have our poison, we'll be fine. What are you gonna do? Anyway, we're gonna try and fish him. What are you gonna do? I don't know what he did. Uh, anyway, uh, D is our follow up. Fine. Probably should <laughs> probably should get those Fs then, huh? D is our follow up. Yeah, our, our whole last... We would have won this turn if our last turn wasn't just so scuffed. Anyway, it's three more on the board. Uh, do we just apply poison here? Sure. Power up. Throws. Get two bar. Change B for throw. Gem storm. And dodge. Yep. We had to go for like the the super scary throw there. Wow. Two oh. Not bad, but we we had to sweat. We had to sweat some in the game, the second game. Anyways, guys, this is gonna be for me. GG's to Seven Samurai again. Like, don't recognize the name, but maybe they're new or something. Uh, oh, they're new. Uh, they're new. Oh, first game against a human. All right, no, good job, man. Good job. Um, yeah, I just need to like. There are a lot of weird nuances in the arc mirror that you just like have to kind of experience um, for the first time but uh, yeah the second game he performed quite well I mean uh, right up until the end where uh, I just kind of hit him with like a free giant fish right um, was pretty back and forth that second game but yeah GG's to 7 Samurai new face uh, I didn't recognize their name before but I recognize their name now yeah they're like a they're like a new player so I mean they performed quite well for a new player I uh, just need to Learn the nuances of the Arc Mirror, and of course that will come with practice, right? And you know, it's not something you learn right away. Even I don't know all the nuances of the Arc Mirror. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the Arc Mirror. Uh, we're not playing that again, hopefully. Uh, we'll maybe do something else. But uh, until next time, guys, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.